The national debt held by the public tops $27 trillion. It's bigger than the entire American economy, and it's on track to grow faster and faster. So when Trump made an appearance this week at PubKey, a Bitcoin-themed bar in New York's Greenwich Village, I went down to ask him about it. Donald <laughs> Nicholas with Reza Magazine, you signed legislation adding $7.8 trillion to the deficit in your first four years. Why will it be different if you're reelected? Well, we had a thing called COVID and we had a new thing. <laughs> but you added it, you added it before, you added it before yeah. COVID. And we were getting the country all set with our liquid gold and all the other assets that we have. We were gonna bring that way down. That's a snappy comeback, except that less than half of Donald's new debt was related to pandemic spending. And the COVID relief bill establishing the Paycheck Protection Program, which Trump signed in 2020, was so rife with corruption and waste that one federal prosecutor has called it the biggest fraud in a generation. And get this, his new campaign proposals would add another $5.8 trillion to the debt. How are Thank you gonna you. bring it down Thank if you're you, cutting Thank taxes? You, Thank you. Trump has called himself the king of debt. If he gets a second term, he just might become its emperor. Now this, uh, it's a Bitcoin bar. Are you for Bitcoin or shitcoin? 